Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have an all new Shop My Stash. So I was doing these every three weeks. I'm like, I've kind of extended them a little bit at this point. I'm kind of around the four week mark, but if you've never seen this series from me before, it's the way that I rotate through my makeup pretty consistently. So in the first half of the video, I'll talk about the basket that I had most recently. And then the second half, you will see me pick my next everyday makeup basket. And if you ever want to skip ahead, there's always a timestamp linked below. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, let's talk about the palettes first. The palette that I have on my eyes today is actually the palette that I wore the least, which surprises me because I feel like I thought this might be the most, but this is the Making Mauves palette from ColourPop. I had three palettes in rotation and I ended up I'm um, testing out a fourth palette in a video recently. You saw that, we'll get there. But I'm wearing Making Mauves today. If you're wondering about this look, I am wearing, honestly, most of the shades in the palette. We've got all these in the crease. I've got these in the outer corner. And the, okay, I'm wearing everything in this palette. Every shade in this palette is on my eyes, except for this one, Tongue Tied. <laughs> I feel like this look turned out really purpley, which was kind of what I was going for. And then I was gonna pair it with a nude lip like I normally would, but, this lip color is very, I don't want to say out of my comfort zone because it's not, but it's not necessarily what I reach for. But this is a new color from Urban Decay. It's called Art Walk. And I figured it would look cute with this look. And I really, really love the combo. It's very berry. I feel like this is good as we're approaching fall. I'll give you guys a little spoiler on the basket. I am planning to pick a very fall themed basket, so I might throw this in. I ended up pairing this actually with more of a nude lip liner, so it's a little bit less bright, but if you wanted it to be more fuchsia, you could pair it with more of like a red or pink lip liner and you'd get a totally different effect. These two palettes I feel like I used pretty evenly. I would say I was uh, pretty consistent using both. This is the Sigma Untamed and this is the Urban Decay Naked Honey. So with Untamed, you actually saw me film a look in a Get Ready With Me that went up this month. It was a chit chat, Get Ready With Me, all about the beauty community. So if you didn't see that one, I will leave it linked down below. I did kind of a purpley mauve look somewhat similar to what is happening today, but slightly different tones. Obviously I was using this palette. The reason I put this in was because there were two looks I had in mind that I really wanted to do. I wanted to do a blue liner look, which you saw me wearing in a recent video this month. And then I also wanted to do like a dirty green look. So I reached into these for that look also. Maybe I should have held off and put this in my next rotation where I'm kind of going for more fall looks. Maybe I'll cycle it back in pretty soon, maybe. Maybe I'll put it in next, I don't know. We'll see. Also, if you have that palette and you ever want inspiration, I did a three looks one palette when it came out last year, so I'll leave that link down below. You know what? I actually have also done a two looks one palette with this one, the Naked Honey. I did that when this one came out also, but my favorite look that I did this past rotation was so simple, I wasn't sure I was, I don't know. I didn't think it would be that much, but I loved the way that it looked and you guys gave me so many compliments, so thank you. It was just a matte halo eye and I used, honestly, most of the mattes in here, but mostly this one right here, just on the outer and inner corner. And then I took a little bit of this just to brighten up the center and it was just a matte brown halo eye. I did a brown wing liner with it, like a small little baby wing. And that was one of my favorite looks I've done in a very long time. And it was so simple. Even if you don't have this palette, you could recreate that so easily. Even if you don't have an eyeshadow palette, you could recreate that with bronzer, with whatever you have, like it was very simple. I also did a few more yellowy looks with this. I have a Get Ready With Me coming this week that I filmed, and this was the palette that I used in it. It's a very yellowy look, so if you're into that, it's like yellowy gold. Stay tuned for that video, it's coming soon. But the other palette I ended up using was this one from Bare Minerals that I tested out in testing new makeup video. I will leave that down below also. I'll leave everything like always. But this is the Bare Minerals Mineralist palette in the shade Stonewashed, and it's this very blue palette. But in the video, I wanted to do blue in a way that was a little bit more subtle, and it turned out very early 2000s. It reminded me of something I would see in like a little Revlon commercial back in the day. Maybe a cover girl or Maybelline, any of the above. It felt, it felt very early 2000s to me, but in the best way possible. It was like a very subtle take on blue eyeshadow. One of my favorite looks. Like between the halo eye and between that one, those were my favorites of this rotation, but I'll have that linked. I was so happy that I put this in. This is a powder foundation. It's from the brand Plain Jane Beauty. This is a black owned brand, and this is a very similar product to the Bare Minerals foundation, like the original one. It's called the Get Loose Foundation, and I have mine in the shade three. 
It is so easy to use. And if you really buff it into the skin, you can get really great coverage or even on days where I did not want to do a lot, I took a really big brush and kind of applied it less like a powder foundation and more like a setting powder just so I could get the tiniest little bit of coverage, but I didn't want to do a lot. And it kind of just like blurs everything out without being heavy. It really looks like you're wearing nothing, but it gives you like the slightest little bit of coverage. I also kept this e.l.f. foundation in because I'm really trying to finish this. It's what I'm wearing today. I thought that I could finish it in this rotation because I don't have a lot left. However, I ended up trying uh, two, three other new foundations this rotation. So I feel like I didn't reach for this as much as I initially planned to, but this is their Flawless Finish Foundation. I wear the shade Natural. This is $6. It's like one of the most underrated foundations. I'm wearing it today. Every time I wear it, I feel like I fall back in love with it. Even when I put it on today, I'm like, oh, this is so good. It looks so nice. And I have some like scarring on my cheeks from recent breakouts, and I feel like this covered it up really well. Like. You might still kind of see it peeking through, but I didn't conceal or anything. I'm just using this, but it's also not heavy. Like it's so good. But there were three other newish ones that I have been testing. The first one being this one from Bare Minerals. This is the original liquid mineral foundation. I don't know why they do this. It confuses me every time when they come out with products in a different format. They name it the original even though it's new. So this is supposed to be like a liquid version of the powder foundation, but it's new, but it's called the original. This is really lightweight, lighter coverage, but it looks so beautiful, like super natural. The coverage or the, the texture of it is very thin. So I just kind of like smooth it over my face with my finger and then tap the sponge over it. The coverage, if you just do a thin layer, it's pretty light, but it looks so natural. Like it's really beautiful almost looks like you're wearing nothing. I will say though, this can be a little bit finicky with the primer that you pair it with. I think just because it is so liquidy, if you're choosing more of a silicone primer, you might get some pilling. And I've had days where I just like, it's, I feel like it's fully pilling up off of different areas, but I think that's the primer I've been using. You saw me testing this one out in the testing new makeup video. It's the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is so good. However, it is not at all what I was expecting based on the name. True Skin Hydrating Foundation sounds like it would be a light coverage tinted moisturizer type of product. It's the complete opposite. It's like medium to full, like heavy, not heavy, not heavy, but like more of a full glam type of look. And I love it. It's like such good coverage on it. And then, oh my gosh, okay, so many. Last one. The Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I also tested this one out. I've only tried it once now, so stay tuned. I will get some more thoughts on it, but I tested this one out in the video that I mentioned is going to be coming later this week, so stay tuned for that. So far, I like this one. If you were going to ask me out of all three of these new ones, which one is my favorite, I would say that's a, that's a tough question. It's kind of hard to answer, but I want to say it's between these two. It's hard to compare them though because the coverage is just so much higher on this, but this looks so much more natural. So I suppose it would depend on the result I'm after, but I think the Bare Minerals probably is my favorite. Oh, also, I think I'm going to keep this in for another rotation. It's the Stay Naked Concealer from Urban Decay, and I really, I think I'm close to finishing it up. It might be a trick. Sometimes it's a trick, and I'm not actually as close as I think, but I swear I'm getting to the bottom. And the thing is, they don't give you a lot of product in this. It's much smaller than most full-size concealers, so I think that's part of the reason, but I would love to use this up completely. Okay, this next basket, like I alluded to, I want it to be very fall. I am starting to get there on the fall vibes. I'm not, I'm not there just yet. I know that the pumpkin cream cold brew just came back to Starbucks. I haven't gotten one yet, but probably at some point this week. I do feel as though I am mourning the end of summer because this was just such a fun summer, but I'm looking forward to fall. I love fall makeup, so I think that's gonna be the direction I go when I'm picking out products, especially palette-wise. I wanna go for some fall palettes. Also, for the last few years, I've done a like, best fall palettes video, so let me know down below if that's something you would like to see. Should I do an updated one or, uh, like I said, I did one last year, so I don't know if you wanna see an updated one or not, but let me know, because I could do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the selection. Okay, so remember how I worked so hard to get this drawer all like organized and I got my foundations 
down to nothing well look at it now so that's why i really need to finish up that elf one and just like make some more progress in here because this is a little bit more packed than i like this drawer to be however i think i'm gonna go ahead and put all three of the ones that i'm I, that i mentioned earlier in the video that i'm testing back into the basket so this this and this so i can get some thoughts for you guys because i am going to be doing another review roundup soon so this is the bare minerals original liquid mineral the urban decay uh hydromaniac and then the catrice true skin and hmm i'm thinking for primer i'm gonna go ahead and put this one from the ordinary back in I feel like I've been rotating this one in somewhat frequently, but I'm also really close to being done with it. So that would be really cool if I could use that up. Oh, this is not supposed to be in here. This is a moisturizer. I don't know how that got in there, but I'm going to put this primer in. Okay, a powder I kept grabbing for the Kosas one this past rotation. It's just so pretty. Whenever I feel like my makeup's not looking perfect or like I need to change something, I just dust a little bit of this over it and I swear it's like magic and it fixes it. So I want to put this in, but I'm also thinking a loose powder and I want to go with this one from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. It is really pretty and I feel like it locks product in a little bit better than this one does. And while I'm planning for a fall themed basket, I still, it's still pretty hot here. So I think I want something like this that'll lock product in but that is going to be it for the top drawer moving down to this drawer i am going to keep that urban decay concealer in because i do want to use that one up but huh what other one am i going to grab let me do this one from koki i feel like i have not had this one in in a while and you guys know i love this it's their be bright but this is the shade light medium and with the urban decay concealer it's almost a little bit too light for me so having this as a mixer i feel like will give me the perfect combo and this is another one that i feel like i could use up soon like there, there can't be much in here. Okay, also, I'm going to put this Persona Cream Bronzer back in because I want to decide if I'm going to keep this or not. I keep trying to love it because I know so many people do, but as I've mentioned in my reviews, I, I just have trouble getting it to work for me. So I'm going to put this back in, give it like one last hurrah, and if I don't love it, I'll probably declutter it. Okay, for bronzer, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the shade Ambra from Nabla. This is one of their skin glazing products. It's really beautiful. It's very lightweight. It doesn't look too heavy. It's like very glowy. So that'll be a pretty one. For blush, since I'm going for kind of a fall basket, I feel like I want something kind of bright. Not bright, uh, more like berry actually is kind of more my vision. So I'm almost thinking one of these two. I feel like I've had this one in kind of recently. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Mauve Sunrise, and this is their original blush in Glee. Also, check out half of my nail polish missing, but I think I'm gonna go with the loose one. I feel like this is more fall, but this I've had in recently, and this I have not. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Again, it's the shade Glee from Bare Minerals. It's a loose blush. Ooh, and you know what other bright blush I'm gonna do? The NYX uh, Sweet Cheeks blush. I have the shade Baby Doll, and this is really bright. I feel like it's a perfect fall blush. Okay, for highlight, I wanna put this one in. This is one I'm testing out right now from Catrice. This is called the More Than Glow Highlight, and I have the shade Supreme Rose Beam. I'm really liking this. Like, it's not, ooh, you know what? It kinda reminds me of this. This is one of my favorite highlights. I mean, the tone is slightly different, you can see, but this is the shade Privilege from Nabla. It's one of their skin glazing highlights. Texture-wise, they're different because this is baked, but the effect, I feel like is kind of similar. So I'm gonna put this in. I think I'm only gonna grab that one because I also have my Project Pan highlight. So is that gonna be everything from this drawer? I'm trying to debate if I wanna do another blush. No, that's plenty. So yeah, that's all from this drawer. Okay, now on to lips. The first one that I know I wanna grab is this. You guys saw me make this in my vlog. This is my newest custom lip shade from bite if you haven't seen that i'll leave that video linked down below and they had this whole campaign going on or they still do of like my lips but better so um we named the shade me myself and i which i thought was really fun because this color that we created is almost identical to my lip color it's so pretty so i've been wearing this a lot i definitely want to put this in and now here's where i pick out some fall tones okay I definitely want to do this. This is like the epitome of fall. It's Ophra Miami Fever. It's um, it's actually the 
packaging is kind of cracked and looking gross, but this is a burnt orange. It's really pretty. I also want to throw in the lip color you saw me wearing in the beginning, which is Art Walk. Again, you saw me wearing it with a nude lip liner, but I could also pair this with like a red or a pink to get a brighter look. And I actually think these two together, look how pretty these will be. I could do kind of a monochromatic look between like a really heavy blush and then this bright pink effect. That would be so pretty with just a subtle eye, probably no eyeshadow, just like some mascara. Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do one more bold, like a red, or if I think that's good for now. I think I'm going to call it good for now, but let's throw in a lip oil since that's all I seem to want to wear these days. This is the ColourPop Lip Oil in Smirk. I also have the Sigma one in my purse right now, and I'm sure I'll reach for that a lot in the rotation. And then, oh, this is kind of sad. Since we're entering the last month of Becca, let's put this in. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It is from Becca. It's the shade Dune. It's the perfect nude. Uh, I'm going to throw that in as well, and I think that's going to be all for lips. Okay, now I'm very excited about this early fall palette combo that I picked out. So naturally I had to do this. This is from Nobla. It's the side-by-side -side nude. This is just one of my favorite palettes in general, but I feel like the tones of this, because they're so rich, they're going to be perfect for fall. You could go a little bit more smoky with this, and I feel like I might. Also, just based on the name, like I had to, you guys, this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. I've had this in kind of recently, but I feel like it's just a must for the fall, just based on the name and the colors. They're perfect, very orangey, very warm, but there's also some pops of color in here if I wanted to do a little bit more of a colorful look. And then this one isn't really the most fall. However, I have been thinking of this palette for a minute. I've been wanting to do some looks with it. I want to do that same pink look that I feel like I always do when I reach in here. But also, because the new uh, Natasha Denona 5 pan that is really silvery gray just came out, I wanted to put this in so I could do some silvery gray looks and kind of get the vibes with this palette. I also feel like there's going to be some good combos here between some of these cooler tones and then the silvers, also like the pinks and the pinks. I feel like these are good early fall palettes and then in a month or so we'll get into the deeper berries and some of the richer tones, but I'm really excited about this next rotation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.